Would you believe me if I tell you this big fridge you are seeing is working from a 2.5 kV inverter? If you can see from the screen, it's displaying that this uh, fridge right now is working, but let's see access the inside to see if it's actually working. You can see the light in it. It means this fridge is working right now. So is it possible for a 2.5 kV inverter to pass such huge fridge you may want to ask? The answer to the question is yes, because this fridge is consuming just 350 watts. The surge power of this will be around 650 or 770 watts, which a 2.5 kV is capable of powering. Because the total watt or the maximum watt of a 2.5 kV inverter is around 1,800 or 1,900 thereabout. So let's go and check uh, the inverter out to see if it's actually working from the inverter. And aside this fridge, if you can see, these slides you are seeing right now are also working from uh, the 2.5 kV inverter. I'm taking it to where the inverter is so that you see. So this walkway, all the lights on this walkway are working from the 2.5 kV inverter. You may be wondering where are the batteries? Now this is a good idea and at the same time a bad idea. First we have a 2.5 kV inverter, uh, Afri power. For those of you that have been using Afri power, you know Afri power is a very strong inverter and this is a 2.5 kV 24 volt. And that fridge which I showed you is working from uh, this 2.5 kV inverter. So the, the, the load consumption is now around 25%. That means that fridge is consuming around 16 to 17 percent or around 15 uh, percent. You can see 25 percent, though our battery is dropping because it's not well charged. Uh, this is just to test run. And here we have a 40 amp uh, MPPT, the solar charge controller. On the roof, we have four units of 400 watt generating 1.6 kilowatt. So you may be wondering, is it possible for these 40 amps to handle what is coming from the solar panels? The answer to the question is yes, because uh, the, 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 the maximum current which will be coming from the solar panels will be around 36 amps or around uh, 35 amps. So it's capable of handling, handling uh, the four unit of, uh, of 400 watts. So down here in the cabinet, this is where our batteries are. You can see our batteries are hidden here. This is where our batteries are. So two units of uh, 12 or 220 amps star plus battery connected in series generating 24 volts. And here we have a manual changeover to change between the inverter and the generator. This system you are seeing right here is a complete off-grid system. This environment does not have access to the national grid. So everything here will be depending on the solar panels. You may be wondering if that unit of solar panel will be uh, much more uh, sufficient for this system. The answer to this question is no. I've spoken to the client to add extra uh, two units of 400 watt solar panels, but right now it seems he doesn't really have uh, much fund at hand. So he'll be managing this uh, four unit of uh, 400 watts because the amount of load here is really huge. This uh, apartment is, uh, is a five bedroom flat bungalow, which will be uh, most of its energy will depend on this solar energy system. That means on this 2.5 kV inverter. Uh, if they will be consuming around 350 watts, let's assume that's their power consumption during the night hours. At 75% depth of discharge, it means it will take them 11 hours to discharge this battery on a load of 350 watts. So if you can see, like I said, this cabinet, these batteries are hidden in this cabinet. But what's the disadvantage of this? One, it doesn't have access to uh, ventilation. We have spoken to whoever did this to come and uh, make some you know, holes on the cabinet so that there will be ventilation. And aside that, a fan, an external fan have to be installed to keep the system cool. So like I said, on the roof, we have 1.6 uh, kilowatt of solar energy. And here, this battery is 5.2 kilowatt and a 2.5 kV inverter installed at uh, Nara Enugu Nigeria so with so with 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 1.6 kilowatts coming from our solar panels how many hours will it take our battery 
to charge. It will take our battery about six hours to charge, to get fully charged, if 1.6 kilowatts is coming from our solar panels. So like I said, this environment doesn't have access to national grid. So everything here will be depending on the solar panels. So how much will it take to set something like this? Or how much will it take for this setup? You will spend around 1.3 to 1.5 million era to set up a unit like this, which will you know serve it very, very well if you don't really consume much. But if you consume much load, then I won't advise you to go for something like this. You have to go for you know something bigger than this.